no good. So we got a call and this one is out to the sand chute. It's been a little bit since we've been here, but every time we come, it is memorable. I'm excited to go see it. Matt says there's no way out. You got to go back up. And it's even worse than that because you don't know you're in trouble till you're already in trouble. It's not like one of those ones where you're like, oh, I'm not driving down there. You'll be driving, then all of a sudden you'll become aware that you're trapped. You're trapped. That's why it gets people. Well, I guess you got somebody today. Yeah. It's evening, start to get dark, so we got to hurry up and do this before it's dark. It's 104 degrees out there. But we'll get him out. Oh yeah, Hefe's behind us in the Bronco. He's got the keys to this particular rig. So hopefully, what, I don't know, a Pioneer or something. A Pioneer? Yeah. Like a wagon, a covered wagon? Yeah. Oh, huh. don't see many of them. No. Nope. All right, so Matt called, asked us to pick up some keys from Quail Creek Campground. We were on our way back from St. George. So we picked them up. Looks like it's a Polaris General. The guy got stuck down on the bottom of a sand hill, couldn't get out. He said he tried like 15 times, couldn't get it out. They ended up walking out after like six hours. Sounds miserable, because it's hot right now. They said they called another towing company, and that towing company couldn't find them. So we're gonna go find them and get them out. I don't know if Hefe's ever been out here. If he has, it's been a long time ago. So I'm gonna be dropping him waypoints, like little trail of breadcrumbs. Not very many people come out here. Yeah. But even less come back. That's the problem with this trail. That's bad, man. That's really bad. That's why we're here. <laughs> to do the work. Can you promise me I will come back? No. No, I can't. I'm gonna call Hefe and see where he's at. I'm gonna keep driving. Calling like Hefe. Good idea. <laughs> Hey, what's your 20? When you get off the new freeway, it's gonna be a little tricky. Just aim for the fence line. Okay, what's that? So, you know your four-wheeler? Yeah. It wouldn't climb out of this. You gotta be really it's, screaming, huh? Yeah, it's just a weird, there's no way to get a run on it, oh. and it's just a mess. Yeah, and then it never ends. And then when you think you've won, there's another one. Yeah. So, if we called Eric out here, I'll show you where Eric would stop, regardless of what he was driving. Really? Yeah, I'll show you where he will not pass. Because right. Eric knows he don't want to spend all day out here. It's no return hill. Yeah. I think the banana will do pretty good. I hope it does. I'd like to go home. If we can't make it up, the fastest way home is would be to walk. Okay. You just cross the river and go up to Hurricane. trying to catch up to my dad. We've been going in circles a little bit. What did you say, Effie? Yes, back and forth. Those are his tracks, though. We are following his tracks, hopefully. I used to come out here a lot with my cousins, but it, that's been like five years. Just because they've been doing construction on the new highway, and it's just hard to get out here now. I was wondering why it was so rough. I was driving all the way up here in two-wheel drive. <laughs> We'll switch to four wheel and maybe it'll get a little easier on us. From where we're at, we're literally like a five minute walk, 10 minute walk from my house, but it's a, about a 30 minute drive. Thing. I want to see Rhett walk to his okay. house in five minutes. <laughs> maybe 30, maybe it's a 20 minute walk. It's not that far. I used to walk to the other side of the river. It's definitely house. a longer loop to go all the way back and around and get around the canyons and back out onto the highway. You can probably see the yard and Rhett's house from over here. So it's definitely a longer loop. I don't know about okay. 15 to 20 minute walk. Okay, so I was dropping waypoints for Hefe, but they were getting off. I don't know how they get off or why they get off, they just do. And so we sent him the wrong way. So he's a little bit further behind us than he was, but I think he's gonna figure it out. We're just gonna keep going. We're running out of daylight, but you know where we're going, so we're good, right? Yeah, we done run out. We're out. It's, it's over. It's over. The day's over.
Tom's reaction to the situation he finds himself. You're startled? <laughs> yes, let go. So we kind of peeked out on this hill and took a sharp turn downward. And I'm looking at this mountain in front of us and it's on the other side of the river. That means we're gonna drop off like a cliff here. What are we doing? Yep. So here's the problem. As we're, as we're rolling down this hill, if we were in anything besides the banana or the Morvera, there's not a lot of machines that wouldn't be in trouble right now. I mean, side-by-sides can get up and down this just fine if they got enough horsepower. It's a horsepower game. From here down is a horsepower game. We don't want Heffy to come down any further than this. Do you want to wait for him right here? Um, I'm going to drop him a pin, and then we're going to drive down and look at it. All right. Yeah, we just see lights. Hopefully that's them. Maybe. We're definitely on their trail. There's only one set of tire tracks, and they happen to be Patagonia's, and they're heading down this trail. So, fingers crossed. We're almost to them. Oh, there's another. Oh, that's them, because that's right where the drop-off is. I don't know what's clear over there. Yeah, that's them. All right, we just sent a pen to Hefe and told him not to go any further than this point. We want to park right there. But we're going to ease into this death trap and then yeah. walk back up? No, we'll drive back up. All right. I want to see how bad it is right now. Okay. Oh, man. Here goes. You're in so much trouble. Yeah, it looks like we're driving level. We've never okay. caught the scope of this, I, ever. Oh. Well, that's at the way. Stop, let's move that. That's terrible. Somebody's ripped this rock out, probably winching from it. Show us your strength. Ugh. I don't have to have very much to get it to go that way. Right there. Five feet down the trail and 10 feet below the banana, huh? Oh, we're going straight down. Bushes. There's no avoiding them. They're just scraping both sides. And here's the drop off on. Yeah, they probably already drove off, didn't they? Pull off either right here or down a little farther. All right, arm the keys down. On my way. I'm gonna stay up on top just in case they need a winch line ran out. Rhett's gonna run down the keys. I got them. Which he has in his hands, because I didn't forget him. Yeah, I got him. All right, I'm off. No! No! Yes! You are not gonna wanna back up what you're about to go down. Drive up here and then back down here. Okay, hey, stop. there we go. Look up there. I see lights up there. They're coming down. Okay, go ahead and turn it off and we'll walk down and look at this. All right. So there's a rock here that saved my life once. I think it's right here. I'm going to dig it up and see if I can find it. A rock that saved your life, huh? Where's Hefe? Uh, he wanted to stay up there. Oh, he's not running down? He didn't want to. Where's the side by side at? We don't know yet. This, I don't know if this is the rock. I hope that's not it. For what? One that saved my life once. Is this it? How are you going to know? Because it has a specific shape. I don't like one either. Hmm. Shaped like a kidney bean. Oh well. Okay, let's walk down. That's what, wait, how did the rock save your life? Um, we used it to uh, wedge up under the axle and then back up and it lifted up and put a tire back. I was born in Utah and he knew every rock. We're going to come face to face with it here at some point. Oh, it's a general. Is it a general? So, yeah. I guess. It would have been a pioneer if it was a Honda. It's a camo. I don't know if we're going to get going again if we back up down here. What do you think we should do, Rhett? Should we take it all the way to the bottom, start at the bottom? Well, what are the tires at? Probably a lot. No, they're down. What would you do? I don't think we're going to get moving again right here. I don't think we are either. Can you get to the top and winch? It's a lot longer than it seems. Okay. This guy was tall. Or maybe I'm just short. Man, I don't know. So the plan is we're gonna have Rhett back this back down to the bottom. I'm gonna take the banana down there. Then I'm gonna drive up and get it on good land about right there. I don't wanna back to there because I'm a big chicken. And then 
He'll go up as far as he can. We'll hook him together and hopefully the banana's got what it takes to get it out of here. That's what I'm hoping. So imagine you... this in the afternoon, Tom, the sun is right there. You're in one of those, you know, the tinfoil hot dog cookers that they make that are solar powered? Yeah. You're in one of those right here. Just burning? Yeah. People think these are good winch points. They're not. They're just uh -huh. all this wreckage of fence posts that people have pulled oh, trying Everyone to tried. It will not back up. You're not spinning tires. Will it go into reverse? That's what I'm in. Do you have a locker? That's too locked. All right, see if that'll go. You're not spinning this back tire. You're out. All right, that was the weirdest thing ever. I had to put that thing in two wheel drive, spin the rear tires, and then put it back in four, and then it would move. I don't know why. So I'm glad he was able to get that into four wheel drive and get that locker figured out. Without it, he would be stuck here. Here's Matt, he's just coming down the trail. Dude, this is a, such a steep hill. Look what I found. Oh, hey! I was not bringing my Bronco down here. Jump in, Tom. Let's go down. <laughs> All right. Uh, it is a nice good turn. You can't get a straight run. So we're going to see if the banana can even do it. Have you made it up this before? I have, but just barely. But we haven't been here since we've got the upgraded engine and the bigger tires. And I think what we have going for us, it doesn't look like people have disturbed the sand. Yeah, the much. sand's pretty, he dug a pretty good hole there. They tried yeah. for a while to get that out. All right, let's see how far up he can make it. Let's see if the new and improved banana will make it up here. <laughs> okay, hold on tight. some more tricks because that was about halfway <laughs> that was a pretty aggressive run at it i don't even think we made it to where he made it nope. it looked to me like he was in two-wheel drive but i don't know it should be in four-wheel drive it was in four-wheel drive i didn't check my hub you want to see if my hub was locked in yeah they're locked it just looked like your back wheels were only spinning uh, okay let's try it again down to ditching some extra weight. No good. This is the moment where we all just realized it's gonna be a very long night. I'm not sure what we're gonna to do to get the banana out of here, much less to get this side by side out of here. This just digs in, that powder. You're not hitting anything solid. That's down at least a foot. It's just sucking in all the tires and there's nothing wet anywhere remotely close down there and that's what we need to get traction. No bottom to that sand? Nope. I'm gonna walk back down. I think Matt's dropping tire pressure. I think we were already low, but we're going lower. I thought the extra 100 horsepower would be a game changer and it's not. How low are you going? I got bead locks, so as much as possible. Just gonna let it all out. This is the only way out, right? Yes. There's no rocks crawling through the river. <laughs> That's enough. 
Okay, let's go to the other side. If these tires were bald, we'd do way better. And here's the problem with these with these new uh, Milestar MTO2s, they're not wearing out like the original ones did. I need these bald. I don't want to be in third gear, so I'm getting as fast as I can in second gear. Did you bring a winch extension? No, we'll climb out of here. You'll see, we'll make it out of here. Okay, let's try that. We've got to be down to around six pounds. Yeah, that was a game changer. Like, I can't believe that made such a difference. Good, come up. Rhett, that's you. I know. And then we got a hike. Oh. <laughs> Holy. How's it going, Efe? <laughs> this is terrible. Are they out of the way? Father versus son. Matt said get more of a run. Are you in low? No. Do you want him in low? Yeah. Low range. Red made a good run at it, but didn't even get to where we were originally. At least now we got the banana in the front aimed the right way. Apparently, Rhett wasn't in four-wheel drive, so we'll see if that makes any sort of a difference on how far he gets here. I think we're gonna, we're gonna have to pull him no matter what, so I might as well get this started. Come on, Rhett, you got it, yeah! Out of here, Dad. Oh, oh, what a difference. Two extra I, tires, man. I wish I had four wheel drives and can deflate my tires and make it up easier. <laughs> Rhett thinks he can drive it out from here, so we're going to put the ropes away. I'm going to get out of his way. Okay. Nice run there, that last one. Yeah. Pull forward a couple feet. Let's see. Yeah, He's you're rolling. good. So it's having trouble going in the four wheel. You're going to have to rock it back. Get it to go. Yeah. Oh, it's popping out of four wheels sometimes? Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's not helpful. Okay. So this is definitely better, but it needs bald tires and I don't think we were aired down enough. What do you think we were at pressure wise? We were probably at 10, 10 or 11 pounds. We haven't really ever aired and down since winter in this. 10 or 11 is pretty low. What do you think you went to? Like six? six? Yeah. Okay, yeah. six PSI was a magic number. All right. I guess the customer was pretty distraught. They tried for a long time to get that out of there and then they were just kind of giving up hope. So we're gonna take it back to them and see if we can cheer up the rest of their evening. We 
got it. Yeah, I see. It's, a, it's not the first one uh, we've got down out of there. So man, it was a long day. Yeah, yeah. I bet. I've been down there before all day. I wish they put a sign on there. If they put a sign there, they'd have to put a sign at a million other places wow. within 25 miles of here. I guess that's right. <laughs> all right, you get a shirt out of the deal. Nice. We'll get them out. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Okay. okay well thank you. thank you all right we got there we eventually got it out of there got it dropped off at the customer's campsite and we are headed back home what time is it pretty late not as bad as it could have been that actually turned out pretty good you didn't uh, end up having to do any pulling we just had to figure out how to get them in four-wheel drive yeah we made it more work than it should have been but that's my fault that's what i do but not as much work as it could have been that's correct thanks for watching yummy that's what we'll be eating if we don't get out of here <laughs>